to be frank, you have to turn into who and what you need to turn into so you can survive mentally and emotionally for that time period. Right. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. If you're going through uh, crazy relationships, you have to turn into some type of person to endure that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. But in order for you to have something you never had before, mm-hmm. a go a place you've never been before, mm-hmm. that version of yourself mm-hmm. that you currently are, mm-hmm. you got to let that version go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can go where you ain't been before. Because mm-hmm. that version of yourself will probably will destroy where you about to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's not, sometimes the uh, mic, it's not even they can't go where you're going. You can't go where you're going. Mm-hmm. That's true. Right. 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 That, you talking about you gotta that's, make that's a whole, that's that's a whole bar. bar. You can't. <laughs> that's you, a whole bar. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't go where I'm yeah. going. You can't even you can't go, go where you yeah. 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 That's look at you. You can't even get up the ground, can that's you? <laughs> because because the version of yourself won't allow you to even go there. The B2S Podcast is brought to you by Motivated Apparel. Motivated Apparel, the premier gear for motivation. A brand that motivates, inspires, and empowers you to stay motivated while chasing your dreams. Head on over to www.shiftmotivations.com forward slash shop motivated apparel and grab yourself some motivated apparel today. Hey, what up, world? What it do? Hey, what's happening, man? Welcome to another episode of the Blueprint to Success podcast, man. Y'all know what it is, man. We excited um, to be joining y'all on tonight once again, man. It's your boy, Mike Mariner, a.k.a. The Shift Motivator. Y'all know how it is, man. I'm joined with my brother from another mother. Man, y'all give it up for my boy, Alexander Hall. What's up? What's going on, man? Let the drum roll, please. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. What's cracking? What's cracking like it? I'm here, man. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Another, week. Another week. Uh, blessings on over blessings. the weekend, uh, uh, me and the family went to Panama. Mm-hmm. Uh, saw my brother. Saw Big Nate. You know what I'm saying? And, um, That's he, so, yeah. He doing good, you know, so. Uh, he, he's doing really good. He's doing good. Yeah, um, it's good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's crazy, but he, he's doing good. He's doing good, man, so. Yes, what's up? Yeah. He's yeah. still there. He's still there. <laughs> He's still on vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, man. You yeah. know what? I ain't got a bro. I ain't got a way like that mm-hmm. in years, bro. Yeah, yeah. It hit different. So it hit different when you yeah. we like, yo, bro. people are actually living. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it just hit different. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> I, trust me, I know what you mean, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, so okay, yeah. he missed the basketball tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My boy yeah. hit that shot. <laughs> he missed the <laughs> oh, let's, let's see what's coming out tonight, man. Y'all, what's happening, man? Y'all hey. know what to do, man. Y'all give it up for my brother from the same mother, man. Y'all Ooh. welcome. Y'all give it up bro. for boy Wonder. <laughs> Put the glasses down. It's gonna be a good one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to see who we were gonna get tonight. Hey, how, how y'all doing? My name's Jethro. Yeah. My name's Jethro. Yeah, I'm from the part of Tennessee. You never knew it was existed. Yeah. <laughs> Not see you guys. Hey, hey, bro, what's going on, bro? What's, what's, what's cracking what's like up, man? Man, good, bro. Um, a lot of great things like going on. Yeah. Like, just um. Preparation, Crack man. Wagons. It's 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 crazy. We we like locked in, so mm. got a lot of work we we're, we're putting in um, as far as with the the partnership, and we're about to head to uh, Brunswick, Georgia. So if you in Brunswick, we got Light the Wick concert going on. Brunswick, you know, come on, Brunswick, come on. And so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my dog. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm excited, bro. I'm super excited, man, just because of what God's doing. 
how he doing it yeah. and just like using what we have bro <laughs> <laughs> using what we have um and just watching what he do with what we have yeah, yeah sure and it's like everything on the inside that you want to see happen in your life is right here yeah so we we locked in man we loaded yeah, yeah. um we already prepping for next year for january show so uh Miami, we will be coming. So Miami has been one of the key locked in cities that's gonna be like a consistent. I'm, I'm gonna have to slide down to Miami with y'all one, bro, one, one you got time. to, bro. It's, it's, yeah, Miami it's nice. is. It's, 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 I ain't. It's, I, I ain't never been. So. It's, oh it's, man. You like it? It's a vibe. It, 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 it is. <laughs> it, it's, it is. It's definitely a vibe, y'all. And so yeah, I'm gonna um, slide down to Miami. They, they drive with super fast down there too. It's like New Jersey and bro, it's crazy down there. <laughs> Driving, bro, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Man, you got a Hellcat. No, that's just Nissan. <laughs> so, <laughs> they just drive fast. <laughs> yeah. But uh, all, all in all, man, everything's good, bro. Just working, as as T.I. would say, expeditiously. <laughs> but other than that, man, all is well, bro. No, no complaints. Tapping yeah. in. Uh, making sure yeah. I stay locked in with him vertically. For yeah, sure. that's that's why everything's happened horizontally. So yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, bro? Because you, you know got? you born to succeed, brother. Hey, man, yeah, I'm sure. on cloud ten right now. You know what I'm saying? We're getting away for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anniversary weekend. So um, me and the wife gonna go make it do what it do. How many that's years, big dog? Twenty four, dog. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Yeah, the Kobe that's year. That mamba mentality. <laughs> Kobe year, dog. Kobe. Hey, man, I'm excited. Little <laughs> mini be. vacay, man. You got, man. I'm trying to tell you. Bro. Other than H, bro, I am past excited. So you know, we gonna Facts. hang out. You know, just kind of unwind. You know what I'm saying? So we always both are. We were always on the go. So mm-hmm. you know, it break the monotony a little bit. So we gonna head yeah. out and then um got a um got a speaking engagement tomorrow. Got another speaking engagement Friday. Right. So I'm excited about those, and mm-hmm. I got some other stuff actually in the works too. So, mm-hmm. um, excited to see what happened with those. So, and Thanks. then, so I'm waiting on the uh, uh, um, some other stuff to come through. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I got, like I said, you know, last last episode, we got the green light. So, I got a school, you know, they they bought a bunch of the um, workbooks. So, yeah, oh, uh, that's, that's yeah, that's huge. That's a that's super that's huge. A, that's a nice payday right there. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but um. You know, just, just, I'm just, no, it's when you're able to create something, man, and it be a blessing to people, mm-hmm. that's, 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 that's my high. Facts. And, and that's no cliche type talk either. It, it is, man. It's just like when people, like, you know, when I first did the workbook, mm-hmm. and um, so it's, 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 it's a process, you know, it's actually getting the school system to buy into what you're doing. So, right. But it's like, and to be honest with you, like, Every meeting that I had with the school, mm-hmm. um, even though some of them, you know, I'm still waiting to see, because uh, schools just, it just they just started, so they're just getting back going. So it's just kind of waiting to see if the upper shallot, you know, is into what I produce at you know at the lower level. So, mm-hmm. and right. but honestly, though, every meeting that I've had, it was like, man, this is good. Like, man, this is. Can I have this? <laughs> like, and that's why I like or I order mm-hmm. so many. Like, cause I, I ain't I ain't fit to be just chucking out workbooks like that. But right. I knew I'm gonna have to set a certain side amount. So as you feel it, yeah. just for marketing, you know yep. what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, this is your copy. You know, take it up. You know, with your uh, upper shallot. So let's let's see. What, so mm-hmm. yeah, man, it's it's yeah. When you when you got a body of work, man, you you create something, man. It, it when it blesses other people. Yeah, Bro. forget those that are just hating on what you're doing, but when it Bro, when it touches other people, though, that's a high. That yeah, is, it is hit different, bro. It is. It is, like, especially when you yeah. know it's it's from a place of when you're being crushed, and yeah, it's from a place of struggle. It's from a place of not only being able to relate, but it's just from a place that you know you worked so hard to overcome certain obstacles that try mm-hmm. to deter you from where your purpose then yeah it's it's easy to just walk away that's easy yeah yeah it, it is man i mean there's been events that i've you know i had i wasn't able to get captured on video because 
Mm -hmm. You know, it was just me that went that time. And, you know, sometimes trying to navigate everything when you don't have your other person with you. Right. Your mind don't be in the right space. But mm -hmm. it's just like, man, it's, I remember this one event I had spoke. Um, and um, I was talking with some of the administrators afterwards. And um, the kid just walked up and just hugged me out the blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just like, yeah. I was like, okay, okay what's up, man? What's up? Mm -hmm. I was like, it's like hit different, man. You you experience stuff like that, and, and do. so it's, it's you know. I enjoy yes. it. It's nothing like being it. able to be a solution to somebody's problems and yeah, help them get into a place and knowing that you made an impact and mm -hmm. you you gave them such a hope and and gave them, made them feel alive again. Yeah, and it's so easy now. Yeah, because the world is in such turmoil. Tur turmoil. Mm -hmm. It's it's crazy with everything that's going out. So when somebody's really genuine, that's that's doing things that can help, you know, put people in position to be successful, man, it hit different because it it's a lot of crazy stuff going on out there, and, and there's a lot of crazy people. Mm -hmm. And um, and so you just kind of be got You got to be careful, man. You just you just got to be careful. Yeah, it's, it's a lot going on. It's I done seen on social media this past week. It's just like man. Yeah. It's like, will we get it together? <laughs> you know, like, do we want to get it together? Right, right. That part. That's the question. That's the question. That's, that's the, the million question. dollar question. So right. it's just like, I've been seeing a lot of stuff, man. It's just like. It's, bro, there's some crazy stuff going on, though. Yeah. Know. yeah. So. As, as I say, you got to watch. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So that's, you know, that's what I kind of got, got, got going on in the basket. So once again, you know, football. So first game is next week. Okay. So against the home team, the city. Now. So, yeah, I'm, I, oh, yeah, I want to see that. So, I'm, I'm really, you know, everybody like, yeah, we play your team that week. I said, I know. Bro, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a hot dog and some fries from the game, my G. Like, Yo. man, ain't nothing like them concession some, stand food, dog. That, but, that concession stand food burgers, is different, boy. Bro, <laughs> burgers that, be busting, hey, man. burgers, though? With I know. The relish on there, bro. I'm what? trying to. <laughs> With the hot sauce on the fries, bro. It hit different. Bro. I ain't never <laughs> eat a hot dog with hot sauce on it. No, hot sauce on the fries, bro. Oh, hey, well, no, I ain't did that either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you have that. <laughs> let you have that. Bro, say, I'm going to let you have like, yeah, we, we, we'll that. We'll let you keep that one. I, I yeah, feel like let me go on. I'm good with my ketchup. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Telling you, man. Ain't nothing like the flavor of ketchup. That's that East Tampa <laughs> man's coming out, man. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Yeah. I feel you, dog. I For feel real. you. Hey, man, it's about to be bananas, man. So I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm praying that the weather hold up, you know, for the season. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So which uh, we got to buy, which you know, season just really technically this is the first week, but mm -hmm. the way coaches ran the schedule the last two years, including this year, he's because we normally had our bye week in October. So, but right. for the last year and this year, he's had the bye week at the beginning of the season. So, mm -hmm. games be like what time? Seven? Yeah, Sometimes I mean, where, where we are, 7.30. 7.30. So, around this time right now, basically. Around this time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good because it's cooler because I was saying, my man, we need no, like. It still be humid though. Yeah. Every Especially school the rain the need before. extra water and extra Gatorade yeah. out there, man, because. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's hot. It still it's be humid. The kids yeah, it's are seven, hot. 7.30. Hot is so, and which is seven thirty, it still be a little bit lighter than what it is right now. Mm -hmm. But you know, like when you playing other, like what, like the team we played for the kickoff class at last week. Like mm -hmm. a lot of time when you going out of county, mm -hmm. it's seven o'clock. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But Polk County is seven thirty. So Fact. yeah, that's like, that's that's gonna be a, a, a first game, good first game. So mm -hmm. you know, I they 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 won their classic. They won mm -hmm. theirs. Ooh. Ain't City. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so they, they amp right now. They they ready. Yeah, they ready. Yeah. So they excited. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we had to put in some work. So Yeah. But we good. We should be good because we was talking about that on the bus ride back. Like, dang, when the last time we won the kickoff class? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I, you know, we they the coach did the double thing last year where you play like the um the two halves, like you play one team, one half, and another team is the, the second half. Okay. So, which he was like, man, we ain't doing that no more. So, we actually won one and lost one. But before then, it's like, man, I don't remember the last time we won a kickoff classic. So, and then the year before that, that's when we went undefeated. Like, we 
got our breaks, breaks beat off of us at the kickoff classic and then won 10 games straight. Mm. So it's like, yeah, it ain't no panic mode. It's just, you know, you make the adjustments. and. Mm-hmm. But I'm excited, man, to see what, what we produce. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. And plus, you know, we had a lot of kids transfer out that was actually starters that transferred out. So we and we got to play them. So whether they be on the field or not, that's going to be a different story. Right? <laughs> but we hope, you know, so, yeah, it's, it's very exciting. It's then college football, oh, Lord. I'm on. I ain't for to say, man. I ain't like I, I like this. Is where I got to kind of exercise discipline a little bit. Cause football season, dog. I love football. Like when I was growing up, basketball was my thing. I would watch football, but I love basketball. Mm-hmm. When I got older, it flip flop. It's like eh, I watch basketball, but I love football. Mm-hmm. So it's like Saturdays you watch football all day. Sunday. Get home from church, you watching football. Monday night, you got football. Thursday night, you got football. Yeah. Then the men naps in between the games. Then Friday night, I got football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, up, woo, boy, I got to exercise some discipline. Got to make sure I keep keep my grinding going. Yeah. So I'm maybe prop my laptop up, do a little work while I'm watching the game. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. So especially with with wanting to see what Dion do at Colorado. So, oh, I'm, now that's going to be really interesting. I, yeah, I, and I, the first game is TCU. Really? Yeah. At the gate. Yeah. So. First game is Duke. TCU. 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 Yeah. Mm. Dang. So, which I was reading up on that the other day, and they were saying that they they got the team that they had a couple years ago. So they're like, well, we'll see. Yeah. Cause y'all ain't giving Dion a shot, no way. So. Right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. So, and um, so here we go, man. I want to I want to I wanna start off tonight, uh-huh. um, what Dub ended the last podcast with. So we had to stop that because that would have started a whole another conversation. We didn't even want to go into that, so we wanted to kind of hold that. So I so we had it had him. I put it. We got our, our chat group, so I told him to put it in there. So we gonna but so I'm gonna, um, we gonna run it run a plug off like this here tonight. So it's, and uh, this is what he left off with it says, um. It was it was good. So it was like, don't think that it is strange when you are drawing near to God that your past returns to greet you. It's a part of your true deliverance. Mm-hmm. God will allow your past to surface to check your next level readiness. I was like, dang. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna open it up with that. Since you wrote it, Dub, I'm gonna let you Bro, chime in first. I, I think about past relationships that. I've had, and then years down the line, I run back into the same person. They'd be like, hey, you don't call no more. You don't, you don't check in no more. You don't do this no more, mm-hmm. that no more. And it's just like, I, it's nothing personal, but it's, I, I can't because of where I'm going. And we're on two different playing fields. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's weird. we're not really mm-hmm. servicing each other in the manner of where you're willing to change. You want to stay the same. But you want me to stay the same with you. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. Right. And then the second portion of that is like my past has always challenged me. No matter what level of, of next level I'm looking for, whether it's through music, whether it's mm-hmm. through personal life, whether it's through uh, spirituality and just getting closer to God, growing in God. And it's, it's a lot of things that you won't tolerate that you used to tolerate. Right. Because you don't want to make yourself seem like you're better than the next person. Mm-hmm. And it's not that. It's just we're, we're growing apart. I'm growing one way, you're growing another. And the way we're, we're not growing together, so it, it doesn't do any, any of us good, any of good, mm. if one is not willing to do the same. Yeah. And so uh, I remember in the city, just past relationships, I'll run into the same person again. I'll just get their number again, just out of, you know, just to say, okay, you know, just, just being may, maybe, polite. yeah, just, the polite just being polite, yeah. but never used it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you're still on the same stuff. Like, I'm right. not on that. Right. I've been challenged a lot musically because they knew I, I made beats in the city. So they're like, hey, hey, let me get your number. They'll get my number. They'll never call. But they'll be like, hey. And I believe a lot of times just God allowed that moment to be a test mm-hmm. for me to be like, okay, you're not living your life for God truly. And let's see with the thing that you love the most 
outside of God, mm. will you mm. will you fold? Will you compromise? Mm -hmm. And this this really gave me the gauge of where I was at in my in my walk with Christ. And that's how I knew I was like, okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Because those things will come and test you before your next level. Before, right. it, before you have access granted, mm -hmm. let's see what you could do before the access. Right. Are you willing to die to self? Are you willing to do what is not popular? Yeah. Are you willing to change yourself and what old habits you have mm -hmm. to, to kind of adjust to where you're going? Because what you got to do now is not going to be the same what you got to do when you get there because it's mm -hmm. next level prep preparations mm -hmm. next level thinking mm -hmm. next level moving and a lot of people can't go with you where you're going mm -hmm. so it's like when you think about the rockets with the boosters when you go up eventually they fall off mm -hmm. so if, you, if they can't take you at that certain level of atmosphere it the, i mean what can they do for you and it's it's not bad again and it's not personal but it's just like i'm shooting for stability and i want you to have the same thing mm -hmm. i'm shooting for progress i'm shooting for being better than i was yesterday if we ain't on that we, we're not gonna mesh and i think about it in not in just relationships but will we be equally yoked mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your lifestyle tells me we're not mm -hmm. my lifestyle style says different mm -hmm. so this right here is what prep because a lot of time my past will meet my future because it will always be tested when I get ready to go to the next level of progress, whether it be musically, whether it just be in life in general, whether mm -hmm. it's just because I'm, I'm on some other stuff that will, I'm growing, I'm, I'm listening to different podcasts, I'm educating myself, I'm, I'm reading, I'm writing, I'm just in a whole different level of process. And if you're not careful, they can disrupt that and distract you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And so, and a lot of it was just, feeling bad too because i don't want people to be like oh you think you better because i remember i used to have i used to struggle with self-righteousness man and then i used to not like couldn't comprehend or relate mm -hmm. and i remember one particular situation um where this person felt like with with mom that then this was somebody i was like seeing when i was in high school and it's like, your mama don't like me, this, that, and the third. I'm like, nah, because you know mama, she, she was a sniper. She was like, nah, baby, that ain't it. <laughs> right. That ain't it, baby. <laughs> and one of the things, she was, and, and she would always throw the self-righteousness up in my face. And I struggle with that because it's just like, wow, so because I want to do better, I'm a self-righteous person now. Or, and it, it used to be a trap for me, too, because that's something yeah. I know I struggle with. Yeah. So it's like, so how can you balance that? Mm -hmm without making a person feel like you're better than them, but you're not, you don't think that, you're just trying to get to a mm -hmm. better space and a, right. a better way of doing things. Right. And it's just like, that was the straw that brought the camera back. I was like, you know what, we good. I'm straight, <laughs> we, we ain't gotta be together. Because it's like, you never came to the house, you never met mom, so now you just saying stuff that ain't even true. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy, because this same person I seen years down the line. And and I'm going to show you how powerful it is to walk a fine, thin line and to know that to, to stand up for what is right from a righteousness point of view. Her family to this day, they still ask about me. And a lot of times it'd be crazy because I'll hear it through the wind of other people that know this person. Mm -hmm. And it's like, hey, what, Junior? You saying Junior? And there's like, man, that's like one of the best relationships you had, like just because of how we carried ourselves. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? It's just right. like, and mm -hmm. it was something different than versus what they used to seeing, whether mm -hmm. it's cussing somebody out, whether it's like, yeah. you ain't da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sugar on the iced tea. Look here. Sugar on the iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's that. <laughs> that in itself is what kept me and kept my mind sane yeah. and helped me to be like okay I'm not tripping because people will use stuff that they know mm -hmm. on you to keep you from going to where you're trying to go right. and that will happen a lot bro. Right. that right. will happen a lot right. so I, I made up in my mind I was like you know what man 
if people can't use what they knew about the old you or to where you at with the new you, ain't nothing they can do to make you think otherwise. Mm -hmm. Because now it's control. Now it's, it's uh, dog, I, I, can't, I can't make him move like how I want him to move. Mm -hmm. And I had, bro, it was, it was a struggle, bro. Like, it was a real struggle. Um, and to this day, man, I, I thank God just to be able to go through things, cipher through things mm -hmm. that I've dealt with in the past that I was like, wow, like, we're more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. Mm -hmm. Of course, with the strength of God, but we have to still do the work. Like, we still have to be open vessels to be willing to allow him to, hey, you need to clean this up. You need mm -hmm. to move this away. Now, don't feel too bad about that because this is why this is happening and this is what is causing you to stumble or this is what is causing you to not be yourself or mm -hmm. be okay with being your full authentic self and being a hundred in, in what you're called to and whatever mm -hmm. your purpose is. So I, bro, like, I was like, God, no, my past would just stay. Even when I was in first school, and this was years after, this was like when, uh, this was like 2008, 2009, and I, I produced a record for another artist that I knew that we were pretty much like classmates. And it was just like, I was still getting sucked back into that, mm -hmm. that realm. It's like, I don't want to produce for secular artists. Like, and I had to like really make a firm decision right then and there. I was just like, I can't do this no more. Right. I just can't. Right. Not for where I'm going. Right. Not right. For, like, it is important how, mm. like, you you Man, can you're getting into the next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the group chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's it's like, bro. Especially in this day and time, we are tested so much when it comes to the culture. Yeah. Get sucked into the culture. Yeah. If you're not this and move like this in the culture, then you're not the culture. And it's just like. Bro, it's easy to get sucked in and get mm -hmm. lost in the sauce. Yeah. And when I, 2008, graduated 2009, I was like, when I made that decision, that's when the opportunity with Prop came. Mm. And that's been on his label, Independent. And because it was just like, uh, with Pastor Tim, he was mentoring me. Because I was I had a desire to read the word, un get more understanding of it. And how do I have a fervent prayer life? How do I understand the word like I wouldn't open a Bible for years outside of just going to church because afraid of what I might find that I know I would have to change about me right 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 so I would be like House no <laughs> nah I'm straight <laughs> uh, what you say pastor all right man this word is that's good me. close that's up good. you Let's know what I'm <laughs> so you know mama doing they made sure we went to church by eight times during the week <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll be like we'll have our nap time, you know, on Sunday. Then we go right back to church that evening. We they talk the whole time, give us about thirty minutes to go home, eat, take a little nap. Then we back at church. So, but all of that shaped me into who I am, and I thank God for it because thank God for it because I, I think it's really important that if if you confront your past and deal with what you need to deal with head on. Bro, the, the, the peace behind it, the blessings that come behind it, and it's not just from what you receive physically, but mm -hmm. just mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's like there's, there's no better peace than knowing that you've come so far. And so that's, that's what that stems from, man. It's just my past just kept always knocking on the door, just like, man, leave me alone, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I ain't trying to go back. I ain't even interested in going back. Yeah, like, but, even like, go even, ahead. even like situations, sometimes it ain't got to be like a, sometimes it is an actual person. Right, mm -hmm. right. And right. sometimes, um, sometimes it is a person. But you know what? Let's say it's a person that you can't, quote unquote, get rid of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say if you link up with a person, you have a child with a person. You're not the person who you had the child with. Once y'all split, that's not your main vein any longer. Right, right. right. Okay, let's just get that out understood. Mm -hmm. Right. Focus mm -hmm. is you know is, is co-parenting. That's co-parenting. Right. Co-parenting yeah. co and co-working. 
And both right. parties understand what it is. Because right. when you can't co-parent, co-work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a difference. Mm-hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> explain the difference, dog. Right, like, don't go right, take right, that money. <laughs> Come straight from the house now. Nah. You already you know in the saying? refrigerator. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> co-parenting, a co-parenting relationship is two people who um, ended their relationship, mm-hmm. and they have both individually went through the process of that breakup, that what's going on. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they even come back and discuss whatever, they agree to disagree on stuff, and they have a certain, they're on a certain playing field with each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they have a certain type of relationship. It's not it's not buddy-buddy, but it's not I can't stand you either. It's like... Right, it's like they get along, they, they like, have right. a decent relationship. It, it's not toxic, but... It's you know, not right. toxic. Yeah. It's yeah. not like you rub my back, I rub, mm-hmm. I watch yours. It ain't it's about like, being cordial. It's about no, right. we do this like you know, yeah, I got right. your back, you got my back, but that's all it is. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. like we, yeah, we can nudge elbows. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Coworkers is when <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying, look when you can't co-parent, you have to co-work. Yeah. Well, you gonna bless the people. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them right now. You know, I'm bless up. the people. Yeah, <laughs> so, gonna bless the people like that. Yeah. So when you clock in your job. Mm-hmm. Every place of employment have one person in one department you can't stand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they're there to make money for their household, and you're there to make money for your household. Mm-hmm. And while y'all on the same clock together, y'all job is to make sure that y'all do y'all individual jobs for this department. Right. Yep. Regardless of how you feel about them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you can't stand her and she can't stand you, Mm-hmm. The department is the baby y'all made. Right, <laughs> that's good. I like that. That's Come good. On, preach, the, preach, the, the, the department is yeah. the baby y'all made. The last name of the the department is the baby y'all made. Mm-hmm. The company of that department is the last name, the surname of that child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whether the mama respect the surname or not, your surname is your last name. Mm-hmm. All right, facts. So, the company is the legacy or the last name of that child, Mm -hmm. the department is the actual child. Mm -hmm. So y'all might not be able to get along, but both parties have to try to do whatever they can individually for that child. Because if you bring yours, I bring mine, guess what? We collectively just did something for this department. Mm -hmm. And the company is going to be taken care of regardless if you you can't stand me or not. Mm -hmm. So when you can't, and then, and guess what? The, you might not stand, you might not can't stand your coworker, mm-hmm. but if that person, I, I can't stand her, but she sure do her job well, mm-hmm. it's going to create a mutual respect. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then now, you, now something can actually grow and happen. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you can't co-parent, you have to co-work mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. because y'all co-work to make the baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So nice. you have to co-work to take care of the child. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So... Um, Sometimes it's a person, mm-hmm. right? But what, like, what if it's a habit or, mm-hmm. or what if it's a mind frame? Like, what if it's something mm-hmm. that yeah. you need to address, that you need to change so the cycle won't be happening over and over right, again? Right, right, right. That's, right. that's a biggie. That happens when parenthood, mm-hmm. that, happens, mm-hmm. that happens in like, um, like I, I opened up about um, food and stuff before, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? So now I try to make sure that I watch how I eat yeah. So my son won't be dogging food out how mm-hmm. my dad did, and he it, it's a it, 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 mm-hmm. it's generational, right. bro. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So, um, I have to I have to address my eating habits, mm-hmm. so my son can vicariously address his eating habits. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's something like that. It right. may not be food, but it could be you be too lenient on somebody. No, mm-hmm. say start saying no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can stop them from disrespecting you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Sometimes it's stuff like that, bro. So sometimes it's not people. Mm-hmm. You no. Know, so sometimes it's a habit. Sometimes it's a train of thought. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I, I feel you have to address it. Mm-hmm. You do. If you don't address, when people go through stuff, dog, when they go through stuff, mm-hmm. to be frank, you have to turn into who and what. You need to turn into so you can survive mentally and emotionally for that time period. Right. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. If you're going through uh, crazy relationships, you have to turn into a certain type of person to endure that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. But in order for you to have something you never had before, mm-hmm. a goal place you've never been before, mm-hmm. that version of yourself that mm-hmm. you currently are, mm-hmm. 
you got to let that version go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can go where you ain't been before. Because mm-hmm. that version of yourself will probably will destroy where you about to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's not, sometimes the uh, mic, it's not even they can't go where you're going. You can't go where you're going. Mm-hmm. That's true. Right, right, right. That, you that, talking about you that's, that's a whole bar. That's a whole bar. You can't. <laughs> that's a whole bar. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't go. Where I'm yeah. going. You can't even you can't go. go where you yeah, going. yeah. That's because, look at you. You can't even get up the ground, can you? <laughs> because because the version of yourself won't allow you to even go there. Right. Exactly. Right. You can't go where you going, bro. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> yeah. Talking about you can't go. Yeah, I'm going. I say you can't go mm-hmm. where you going. The how you think you won't be able to handle. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm trying to tell you it. It'd be a good man right there. How you thinking right now? You got how straight cataracts. You won't be able to see them because of how your mind is, bro. You got de- declutter that thing, break it down, mm-hmm. build it back up so you can go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That like homeboy, you, it's a good female right there. You can't, you won't be able, you, you won't know what to do with her. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You won't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But because yeah. of because of yeah. the stuff that you got in here right now, you won't be able to handle Internally. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like I say, not not just relationships. It could be a job opportunity. Yeah. It could be a business uh, relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, bad, bad. That's For good. Real. That's the, yeah. Because even when I look back at um, you know, I've spoken three times. I think I've been back to my alma mater now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, but you know, like I said, when I first got to speaking and stuff like that, I had tried to get out there, but it just you know those doors that wouldn't open. But mm-hmm. then when I look back at well, maybe it, it wasn't meant for me. Or, well, maybe I, maybe I wasn't ready as I thought I was. And then when I go back and I look at it, talking about next level readiness, it was like, man, I don't think I was, to be honest with you. If I was to pull the scales back and be honest with myself, because now I'm, I'm so many years in, right. so many experiences in. And right. so it could have been to the point of, because we always like to say, well, that environment wasn't ready for what I had to offer. Mm-hmm. I wasn't ready for what that environment had to offer. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, yeah. because, like when I first started, like I always say, you know, when when Pastor Leroy said, "Man, I know the perfect spot that they're ready to receive what you have to offer." Right. And 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 when I got there, it it wasn't no work. It wasn't no pull. It wasn't nothing. It just it was an even exchange. Facts. Yeah. It was. You'll a, know. You know what I'm saying? You will know. Yeah. It was an <laughs> even exchange. So now. When I'm looking at what's going on on that campus, mm-hmm. it's kind of almost like the same situation. Right. Because when you're looking at the head coach, and, and one of my classmates is actually actually coaching now that wasn't coaching in the previous years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and the guys that I know, the coaches, I know them as well. Good guys, great guys. The stuff that they're doing with the program is fertile for what I'm doing. So now the exactly. o- that the door is open, it, it hasn't been a pull. Nope. It's like, man, you come back whenever you want to. You know what I'm saying? It's been, it's been that been that type of deal. But when you're talking about next level readiness, mm. there's a certain mindset, like y'all both said, there is a certain mindset that you have to have to be to be able to exist in that realm. Next level preparation. Next level. Just like like, you know, um my wife has been to Colorado, but I haven't. Mm-hmm. Um so we know that in certain places, when you get into the mountains, the air is thinner then. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So you got, there's a different level of breathing that's required to be able to exist in that realm. It so it's just like what we're talking about tonight. There's a certain level of readiness and a mindset that we have to have to be able to go to that next level, whatever that looks like for you. So even in, when it comes to relationships, you sometimes you have to digress so that you can progress. hmm and what we don't want to do a lot of times, we don't want to dial back. Nope. Because we feel like we're going to miss out on something. Exactly. Like, or, or lose a part of or ourselves. Lose, yep. You know what I'm saying? Or that ain't who I am. It's, it's, man, if I had a dollar for every time I heard somebody say that, bro, like, that ain't me. That's not who I am. I'm not being authentic. Mm. What is, oh boy, this is good tonight. But it y'all is. know open up, friend. It, it is. What is authenticity? Mm. Because when you say I want to be authentic about myself and you saying I'm not going to change for anybody, you're not ready for the next level because the next level requires change. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It's a requirement to change because you can't exist with the same mindset that you have. So if Mm -hmm. I'm making six figures now, it's a different mindset to get to seven figures. It is. And if I'm making seven figures now, it's a different mindset to get to eight figures. When mm-hmm. I watched the interview with Magic Johnson, 
And Magic Johnson was talking about the very exact thing. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how it takes the same amount of time to make 100000 as it takes to make a million. I said, dang, bro, he said about it. I ain't, I, he, he exactly right. So it's about the mindset in which you operate in and the, and the systems and the things that you put in place with the same mindset is what brings the difference in. So if mm -hmm. I'm going to put the same energy into something mm -hmm. um, and doing the same thing that requires the same time, why not put that time and energy that's going to get me a greater return on my investment? Bro. So that's even in my relationship. So if I have to submit to, you know what you right this time and then in my heart of hearts i know you wrong but mm -hmm. at that moment if it's going to keep peace in the house yep. then i'm going to do that because at the end of the mm -hmm. day it's about serenity in my space exactly. and then we're going to circle back around when the opportunity comes for us to really mm -hmm. hit this head on so we're not continuing to be you know exactly. but these are the things that next level we're talking about everything man next level finance next level money next level you know wow. whatever that it's like what is it you can test you. What happens when your homegirl and your homeboy, you know, they going on cruises. Yep. And you got to go to be at a certain place at a certain time and they invite you and you know that's going to mess with your money. Mm -hmm. And so you go in there and you do that and then you miss your goal because you're trying to ball out with them. Like, it's, it's a different mindset, man. Yeah. We talk about this. The test going to come. Next level sacrifice. It's going to come. <laughs> it is. <laughs> It always presents itself. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And even to this day, it still presents itself because it's, it's, it's like, how bad do you want the shift? How bad do you want the change? Mm -hmm. Because I went quite a few years without getting myself anything mm -hmm. because I have a mindset like, I'm, I'm fit to reach this goal. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, like, whatever I have to sacrifice, yeah. boom. And then there was this little window pocket. I did what I needed to do. I got extra cash. Right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this mm -hmm. game system because mm -hmm. that's what I wanted. Yeah. I was like, I said, if I get myself something really nice, I always had clothes. I was straight on that. So I was like, I'm going to do that because I, I never really bought myself anything because it's like I'm always, I work as if I have a family. That's yeah. my mindset. Yeah. A lot of single people don't think like that. They're mm -hmm. just thinking of the, the moment to the moment. moment. The now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like me, I'm thinking like, look, my mindset is I'm working as if I got a family already. Right. <laughs> that, Bro. Yeah, that was dear. That was next level readiness, preparing for, for something that you don't even have at the moment. Mm -hmm. Bro, look, I was in the water, right? It was me, it was mm -hmm. Faith, uh, son. I'm in the water. I just, I just feel like I heard God just tell me, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel like, he, I, feel like he, I heard him tell me like feel it, you feel it. It's like it red level. What? I just heard that. He was like, make sure your decisions affect everybody. Mm. Make sure what you decide and your decisions affect everybody. The B2S podcast is brought to you by No Grind No Glory Apparel R8 28 Edition. It's a reminder to stay strong, to be courageous, to stop your fears, and to feed your faith. Even when it feels like everything is falling apart, just know that you were born to stand out and make an impact. Head over exclusively to www.nogrindnoglory.net and grab you some merch as a daily reminder that all things work together. Heard it again. Make sure what you decide and your decisions affect everybody. So when you're doing stuff, mm -hmm. don't be thinking about how it's going to make sure Cedric's straight. Mm -hmm. If okay. it's something that, that can make Cedric straight, it's because Cedric is going to be putting out for mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, And, and then let's say if you do have to do something that you're not, let's say you have to do something mm -hmm. that you don't want to do. Let's say if it's something like, school or something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you need more leverage facts if you have to get a loan you doing this to make sure you get more income mm -hmm. so your people who you dealing with mm -hmm. you take care of yourself now you have more surplus to take other people but right. you don't like the loan mm -hmm. what's your next decision going to be right mm. god needs something to take care of what did, what's your next decision going to be to take care of that mm -hmm. make sure whatever you decide to do it's going to be something to take care of that and mm -hmm. feed whoever. You know what I'm saying? So he's mm -hmm. like, make sure Facts. your decision, mm -hmm. that when you, whoever you decide, mm -hmm. affect more than yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and when you said yeah. that, 
what you just said, it just sounds like it's crazy. Yeah. That, that's why I sent y'all that attack during that mm-hmm. video, because I was just like, man, this this how it went the season, because like, everything that we do within this triangle, we always think of the other person. Right. You know, when you think right. of Raise a Hope, when you think of different right. opportunities for shows, right. you just think of a uh, uh, different, hey, bro, you ever check this out? Hey, mm-hmm. yo, I just got some business idea. Hey, what you think it is? It's just like, because we live in such a, a climate where the climate of everybody is self, a lot of times. And, and it's easy to only think about you because of what you want, but, it's, but the Bible says it's better to give than to, it's better to, give than to receive. Mm-hmm. Because you're, you're, you're sowing on, on, on uh, fertile ground mm-hmm. that can get you a return or investment mm-hmm. later. Mm-hmm. And it's not just for the specific thing of just because of getting a return, but it's just a, a, a principle that you're applying that, that you made a part of your lifestyle. Like, this is what I want to do. Right. This is how I want to sow. This is right. how I want to build the next generation. Right. I had put a post with my boy Arius, man. Shout out to Arius. Uh, he's in Denver. He's the one that hosted the show and taking the city with me. And I was like, man, we're supposed to be the one to pass the baton. But because we're afraid that they may surpass us from where we are now, we want to hold on to it until we get to where we go. Yeah, and, and and that is and not next level readiness. That's not next level Yo. readiness. Mm-hmm. That's actually having that's a poverty. next level self sabotage. That's, that's 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 actually poverty, par a poverty mentality. It is. It, it's actually poverty mentality. It's whatever's mine is mine. Yeah, you you get it however you can get it. Yeah, yeah, because I'm 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 doing this with the intention that you are going to surpass me. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to be just doing something just to be doing something because it sound good because that's what the coach is doing. That's what everybody else is doing. No. What mm-hmm. is it serving my purpose? What is it serving my purpose for why I exist? What is it serving my purpose for what I'm doing in this moment in time? If mm-hmm. I'm going to take out this loan to go to school, it has to serve a purpose because exactly. I don't want to end up in debt for something. I don't know why, I did, why I'm even doing this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and that's what a lot of times we do. And it was so funny because I was talking with um, I was talking with somebody today, and um, it's funny. Like it's, you know, what I'm saying it, it's a high profile person. They got mm-hmm. some properties, some things, and, and they're doing very well for themselves. Right. And um, and so I was telling you, um, they actually graduated from the school that I'm going to speak at this this this, this week. So, and um, they was like, you know, you know, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, that's great that you work with the kids and things of that nature. And she said, because you know. Right. You know, the graduation rate out there has dropped tremendously, you know, mm-hmm. from then when my son was out there, you know, because I had met her. The, the guy that um, um, he, he had actually um, um, sponsored, you know, some stuff we were doing with the football team. And okay, so I actually right. had, to, I had to go pick up the check. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that was his mom that I was actually speaking with. Mm-hmm. And so and she, she was talking about, you know, the graduation rate out there at the school. And she's like, and I say, yeah, I said, because. Um, she said, yeah, they got to do something different with those kids. I said, yeah. I said, actually, you're, I said, you're, you're absolutely right. I said, because what the school does, well, have, what the school has done for so many years was push mm-hmm. college. Yeah. And everybody's not ready for college. Everybody mm-hmm. don't want to go to college. Everything that I want to do doesn't require college. Right. So now you need the schools need to be able to be well rounded to produce. Okay, well if you don't want to go to college, these are other options that you, which they actually have done that over the course over the last couple of years, mm-hmm. which is which is good. And so when you're talking about um, passing the baton on to the to the next person, it ain't necessarily got to be the next generation. It's, right. It could be your coworker. It could yep. be and 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 man that that coworker co parent thing, dog, that was genius. Yeah, Very. because bro, you, 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 that, that came from. That Genius. Came, that came from out the closet, bumped the house. <laughs> yeah. Because, because I have. Because you could be passing the baton to your coworker to, to help them yep. succeed to get to the next promotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if you're left behind. Mm-hmm. Facts. Because a lot of times we'd be like, man, I ain't free to help them get nowhere, man. I want that promotion. What if that was your assignment? Mm hmm. That's a seed, man. When I plant a seed, I don't care what it is, man. I've learned so much from my pastor, dog. I learned so much from him. Because, like, we, because like, he's. He's very soft spoken, but he's 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 a man's man, and that's yeah, why like you him. know when we when we go we travel, a lot of the guys will go with him, and mm-hmm. they'd be like, "Man, how you do that?" It's like I'm just a man's man, 
Facts. And and um, but like he and but he was he he would do certain things. We'd be like, man, Pastor, why you you know why you why mm -hmm. you you know. And uh, but then he goes to explain. He's like, man, I'm never being used. He's like, cause they don't do that for us. They don't do that for you, you know. Cause we got to poor. Cause we were, we were constantly poor. Mm -hmm. We were constantly our ministry was constantly poor. We would go, we would do, but then we wouldn't get that back in return. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, like pastor, like man, maybe we need to slow down, <laughs> you know, cause they mm -hmm. ain't we ain't getting that back in return. So yeah. it's like you know. But he was like, listen, he said, man, you know, and he would say, he said, he said, I, I, they can't use me. He said, I'm, I, when I ask to be used by God, this is what's going on. Mm. So y'all seeing it, <laughs> y'all seeing it as they're using me. They're not using me. God is using me. Right. Facts. And yeah. I was like, yeah. next level. Yeah, that's next level. Yeah, okay, yeah. Pastor, I got you. That's why you where you at. Yeah. <laughs> Throw the chair. Throw the chair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so when you saying I'm not going to help my coworker get to the next level, mm -hmm. you that's what you're doing. You're you're putting you're setting a seed that so nobody won't do that for you. Mm -hmm. So if my life is a seed and everything that I do is a seed, mm -hmm. so even if I get left behind because I decided to help my coworker mm -hmm. get a promotion that I was looking, this is some next level stuff. Yeah. So if, if I'm asking for my to do something, actually doing something for my mm -hmm. coworker to get them promoted, that's a seed that has to come back. Bro, yep. look, the, the other week I had a I had a meeting in the office with our one yeah. top supervisor. Mm -hmm. So I'm in there with him. Now, me and the other lady, we done had, I done went off of her twice. Matter, as a matter of fact, I done. <laughs> Two <laughs> times. Twice. <laughs> Look, matter of fact, I done you went off. You get it both times. Emphasis. Twice. Right, left. <laughs> I done went off on, I done went off on him about her mm -hmm. going slap off. And he supposed to write me up. He was like, man, you need to calm down, bro. So I ain't calming down. You can calm down. <laughs> so, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> so the other time, you got I was, the code. The other time, I was in her office, mm -hmm. right? So I was going off on her, and she had me on the phone. So she was setting me up, because he was listening the whole time. And then, so anyway, I went to his office, and we got that under the smoke. We got that smoke under the bridge, water under the bridge. And so it was something going on at the job. So I went back to his office like last week, just on some person, so I talked to him. So the same lady, I was like, man, I said, when you hire somebody, bro, hire him, I hire whoever it is to work with her. I said, because she's, I said, she's overwhelmed. She's stressed out. I said, she's like ecstatic. Like she's all over the place. Her anxiety is all the time high. I said, mm -hmm. she needs somebody with her to help her with her stuff 24-7. So she's not relying on the people who's on the floor as much to help her with her stuff. Because we got, they, they call us all over the hospital. So I'm right. supposed, I'm supposed yeah, to do this and on right. I'm doing this and do this. I got to help you with your personal stuff. I say she needs help. This is the same person who I was going off on. Mm. But I'm talking to him. I said, man, she's an excellent worker. I said, she's a little baddie, but she's great at what she does for this department. Mm -hmm. I said, and she needs help. He hired somebody to put with her. That's that cold purpose. That's it. That's, that That's that next level stuff. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. instead of mm -hmm. me going off mm -hmm. on you, thank you, Pastor Murphy. Thank you, Jesus, for that message that he put in Pastor Murphy's heart. When I heard it, I got a correction. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm mm -hmm. the one who's a believer in the situation. Yeah. Right. Let me respect your authority. Mm -hmm. And before I come here, I'm going to cover a whole shift. Mm -hmm. And since you verbally, since you can see the sweat on the outside of the cup because mm -hmm. it starts on the inside. I said it last week, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Let me let, let me pray for your anxiety. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. me actually pray for it. Not, mm -hmm. not pray, mm -hmm. Lord, she got my nerve. No, 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 Lord, help her. She mm -hmm. got anxiety. I don't know what's going on in her personal life. Yeah. You talk to God about it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So God was like, son, now you now you getting it. Mm -hmm. so, when I, so when I talked to the big boss to deal with her and I told them, I said, you never going to have no problems. Never. But we don't have no problems. Mm -hmm. she, she loved me now. She called me, said, hey, good morning, how you doing? I be like, oh, my God. Good morning, how you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She gave my nerves, bro, but I don't cause no problems. You know what I'm saying? Because me being right. uh, rebellious mm -hmm. is me reacting to what she naturally does is actually causing her to react worse. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not helping her at all. So how can I help? Since you get on my nerves so much, how can I help you be okay so you don't get on my nerves as much? Right. Right. And, and you see what he dropped on you in hindsight. Yeah. After analyzing, oh, okay, yeah, 
I need to fix that. Yeah, I, that's what God's looking for. Yeah, and it's like okay, you got it now, son. Now I got something to work with. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me drop this in your shun. No, no, look. So <laughs> hey, you need to. Uh, da, yep. da, 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 da. <laughs> so every time I'm with the big boss, mm-hmm. I was always dropping in his ear, man. She need help, man. She need help. She trust. She need help. Mm-hmm. Because she needs help, but she driving us crazy because she actually needs help. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. let me let me let, let me be her advocate. Like, yo, get her some help because mm-hmm. if you don't, you finna lose by four people mm-hmm. for this one person because she's not gonna change. No. Nope. Right. She's not conditioned to change. No. When you said, bro, how bad do you want to change, bro? If you're having the same, if you're dealing with the same thing over and over. Mm-hmm. I don't, if you don't want to really nip it in the bud, I, the, the, but the fourth time, bro, I, I'm like, yo, I don't want to hear that no more, bro. Because mm-hmm. right. you, you really don't, you, you're not trying to, you're not trying, how about we trying to figure something, let's find some, let's find some stuff to help combat what, what, what you, you ain't trying to, mm-hmm. you're you trying, trying to, to turn in the wheels. You're trying to have, you're trying to self gossip. I'm not trying to hear that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to hear that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you talk to me, you be like, bro, just like to say, all right, all right, all right. Cause you like, bro, I ain't trying to hear that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause you know where we at. Mm-hmm. So if you're not trying to adjust it, don't say anything. If you're, you talk to me when you're trying to adjust it. If you're not trying to adjust it, go call one of your homeboys or who somebody who not on that level. You go mm-hmm. call them and deal with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But where I'm at, I can't. I cannot let that. I can't let that. Um, that self complacency. That's what it is, really. Mm-hmm. It is. Now it's. It's stuff hmm. rooted. It's it's, it's hmm. self it's self complacency, it but it, it's it's stuff that made it that way. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. When you right. go through stuff, you have, you know what I'm saying. We're not not trying to be insensitive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. You go through stuff. It's reason why. It's a reason behind everything. Mm-hmm. Period. It's a root to everything. Every mm-hmm. plant you see that's growing. Every weed when you dig it up, it's a root down there. Bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Yep. I don't care if there's no fruit on it. It's a root to it. Mm-hmm. Facts. So, but it's still self complacency though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but mm-hmm. if you're not trying to Change the situation. Don't call my phone, big bro. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm mm-hmm. fighting battles over here. I got real stuff going on. I'm trying to. I'm digging up stuff. And if you're not trying to be on this type, if you're not trying to be mm. on this side of the playing field, do not come over here. Jesus, yo. Do not That's come good. over here. If we're not trying to fight your demons for real. Do mm-hmm. not come over here. If we're not trying to fight your daddy issues for real. Do not come over here. If we ain't trying to deal with your lust for real. Mm-hmm. Do not come over here, bro. Cause mm-hmm. over here, we trying to deal with it so we can move. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you want to keep yep. going in circles, you can stay over there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we, un- we understand yeah. the severity yeah. of what can happen and what comes with it when you mm-hmm. don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we, we don't work years and years because there's always going to be layers that mm-hmm. you have to peel back. So yeah. we don't just do it for the sake of doing it or just for the sake of we look good doing it. Mm-hmm. Nah, this stuff hurts. <laughs> right. It it's that. painful. Nah, yeah, <laughs> it's cut. agonizing. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A diamond got to get cut in order for it to be a diamond. Bro, talk, I'm talking, to about, you. talking about red flags. <laughs> when you see people, that's too many red flags. Everybody got red flags. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to see red flags when you meet somebody brand new and they've been living 40 years before you even mm-hmm. met them. Right. Mm-hmm. If you don't see a red flag in a person, what I need you to do. <laughs> okay. Run. I need you. <laughs> no that way. I need you to stop where you at. Mm-hmm. Lay on your face and repent. Cause that's not a person. That's Jesus. <laughs> In the flesh. <laughs> that's Jesus. <laughs> if you oh, see, glory, if you see, that's Jesus. Yeah, that means <laughs> Jesus that means that means you ain't got no time left. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you yeah. see if you see red flags, mm-hmm. that means they're human. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the red flags yeah. don't mean you just drop them, you just turn the other way. Mm. No. Mm. Like yeah. I, I was saying earlier, oh, bro, you got a football player, he doing pass interference all season. This season, he this season he just a pass interference mascot. You know <laughs> <laughs> he, he's he knows that he's just doing it this he just season. In the way. <laughs> look at him, look at him. He's about to do it now. Pass interference. <sighs> Most pass interference in the NFL this year. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But when he get in off season. And he studied film. He get with his coach, and he studied other cornerbacks mm-hmm. who did the game well. And he worked on his game. The next season, he made it have so many red flags mm-hmm. because he worked on his Facts. game. Right. So it's not about you having a red exactly. Flag. You are know, you, are you willing to work on your game? Work on the exactly. game. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And that's, that's all it. you got to work with. That's, that's it. it. 
Because if, if somebody's not willing to work with you, then there's nothing you can do for or with that person. But nope. if they're willing to change, and that's why I went that change route. Change the, the flags. So what now? Because people say, I ain't, you know, you said, you said oh, yeah, 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 yeah. People yeah, say, I ain't yeah. trying to change. No, no, we ain't trying to change. It's yeah. the flags of that, yeah. that you got. Yeah. Well, just, it, it yeah. actually is changed just, because you're, you're becoming something. You just, the flags just raining. Just. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> well, the, the, here it is. The, the flags is just a notification of something wrong is there. Yeah, yep. yeah, for sure. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. it. But the change... You, you can't eliminate change. People don't like that word. Um, and that's why I brought that up because it's very prevalent, especially it in is. culture. I ain't changing for nobody. I am who I am. Authenticity. These are the words that are being thrown around. Mm -hmm. you know, but it's like, so what you're telling me right now, mm -hmm. if you tell me that you're not willing to change for nobody, so you're telling me you're not willing to grow. Because right. growth requires change. Mm -hmm. It does. So when I hear those, because... The reason I can say this with conviction is because I was the same person. Remember the story? Me and mama sitting in the mm -hmm. kitchen, mama and mama talking. And I, when, once I started coming into my entrepreneurship, still mm -hmm. trying to figure stuff out, mm -hmm. but I knew I was wired differently. And right. so I, when I started studying entrepreneurship, I noticed they were wired differently. They operated a certain way. They moved a certain way. Mm -hmm. They was very decisive. These are a lot of quality traits that I have. And so we was having a discussion about something, and I was like, well, you know, my well, mama, well, God dog it, if they ain't with it, they ain't with it, because they ain't changing for nobody. And, you know, I am who I am. God made me this way for a reason, because I'm thinking about this entrepreneurship, because I'm wired like I see a lot of successful people wired. I'm very decisive. A lot of times I know what I want. You know, I'm putting right. stuff I'm doing, I'm making moves. That, so I'm like, man, if they can't take me for who I am, forget them, you know. And God arrested me right there in that kitchen. And all he said was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and when he said, oh, yeah, so you ain't willing to change for nobody? I'm like, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> like, real talk. Like, Great that was father. one of the only times that God arrested me immediately after a response that I gave to something. Mm. A lot of time it's distant. <laughs> Bro, I stay locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Won't let yeah. you out. I be getting locked up, boy. I be like, I locked up. Won't let, let you out. out. I talk about, every, I, but but he but but he know how he work with everybody. He <laughs> right, know everybody different. Right, he know he got locked me up right then. <laughs> <laughs> he got to it's like you, you don't throw away the key. <laughs> what, bro? I, it was bro. It was so quick. It scared me. Mm -hmm. I had I had no choice because I I I'm a, I, I considered myself a man after God's heart. Right. Mm -hmm. So I had no choice but to respond. He answered immediately. I had to respond immediately. Mm. And so I just said, Mama, my bad. God just got on to me about that. Do, do you think he did that for the sake of saving the vertical relationship? Like, well, if you ain't going to change for nobody, then you, you ain't going to change for me? Bro, that's that's... And here's, bro, I'm glad you, ooh, I'm glad you said that because I wasn't even thinking far near that direction. That's a thousand percent yes, and I'm going to say why. Mm -hmm. Because we say we love God, but we're not willing to change. Mm. So when you say about the vertical, yeah, it's like, so if you're not willing to change, you, so you're saying you're going to change for nobody, so I mean you're not willing to change for me. Because if you're not willing to change for God, at the end of the day, my, I don't want to be, I want to be who God created me to be. Mm -hmm. So if I'm created who God wants me to be, then I'm going to be what I need to be for my wife. Mm -hmm. If I'm truly genuine seeking mm -hmm. the right you know, relationship with God, right. I'm going to be what my wife needs me to be. It ain't about what she wants. Right. It's about, it's what, about she what she needs. Mm -hmm. It ain't about what my kids want. It's about what they need. Mm -hmm. It ain't about what I want. It's what I need. Is what I need. You, so if, if, if I'm willing to change for God, then everything around me becomes what he needs me to be in order to change the environments that he put me in. And that's so, next level care. And that's next level. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, exactly. Because now mm -hmm. at my job, it's next level care. Because now I want, I want what he wants me. Yeah, I'm pissed off right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm frustrated right now. Yeah, I'm about to burn this whole building down right now. <laughs> But Facts. at the end of the day, what is God trying to extract from me in this situation? And what, mm -hmm. try, what is he trying to get me to extract into the situation? 
So a lot of times we like, well, what, well, what God is trying to get from me? Yeah, but what is what is trying? It ain't about just what He's trying to get from you. Right. What He's trying? What is it He's trying to get from you in that environment? Because mm -hmm. there's something in that environment that needs a corrected you and not the disgruntled you. Yeah, it needs a, a a loving you and not a frustrated and pissed off you. Yeah. So now when I go to my job or when I'm going to you know church or mm -hmm. you know whatever thing I'm dealing with or whatever. Now I come into that situation with a different response because right. God requires change. He does. And you'll be the tone setter within that environment. You'll be the tone setter. And, 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 it, and then it, it comes back to you. It can't help but promote you in a certain way. And it doesn't yep. always come back financially. Yeah, nope. because, because you're going... Come on with it, bro. Look, I always say... I forgot who I said this to, but hey, I was nah. like... I said, you can't be given the same version of yourself to different people. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. you said that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. if I can say that's that's not that's not popping. But when you're doing what you just said, when you're adjusting your heart and stuff like mm -hmm. that, on the flip Bro. side, you're going in different places the same way. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can give if be used at the gas station. Yeah. Be used at work. You can be used at church. Mm -hmm. You can be used at Walmart. You can be used at mm -hmm. because you because you're available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're available. It's vacant. God can hop in there mm -hmm. when He need to and hop out when He need to. But mm -hmm. if you are clearing out, He can't do nothing with you at no given time. Bro, dang. And that's and that's, that's what good. and that's what uh, and that's what my pastor would always say. Because when I when I first came to the ministry, they never um um. They didn't, when I started visiting the ministry, mm -hmm. Cole Pastor told me after I came, she said, I knew you was coming. God had already showed it to me. And, um, and they would tell me how they would have conversations. And because Pastor, like, Pastor would know if God sent somebody to the house, he would know, you know, it's like, yeah, they're they, they supposed to be here. But he would never say anything. He's not one of those guys. You know God told you to be here. And you need to right. be. He's not that type of guy. Mm -hmm. And so, and when we had that talk, he was like, yeah. He's like, he said, yeah, I knew. But, you know, that's not for me to, to push Facts. on you. That's, that's for you to realize where you're supposed to be and you, and you connect with it. Mm -hmm. And so. It's like a mental note for him. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So once I connected, um, I didn't get, like, into leadership right away because, you know, I'm going to come in, you know, you know, get accustomed to my new environment and stuff like that. But once it, I was in leadership after a year. Mm -hmm. I, after a year, I've been in leadership most of my time since I've been here. So, but I, what I would do is I always made myself available. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, I, and, I, and I say this with a humble heart, but for a long time, and you know, not now, but for a long time, like he can call me last minute if something came up and he couldn't preach, I was the only one that he can call and 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 be like, man, hey man, I hate to put this on you last minute, but but he got to a point where he knew I was built for it, mm -hmm. like literally, and I equate that to me making myself available because when because I I I discovered I knew and recognized the anointing and the gift on his life. And once I, once I realized that, I'm like, man, this guy is special. Yeah. He different. Like, I've known him for a long time, but mm -hmm. under, getting up under him and serving up under him as a, as a spiritual son is different. It, it ain't the, the, the one that used to cut my hair on grandma's front porch. Mm -hmm. it ain't, it's the same guy, but it's not the same guy. So okay. once I got close and I understood that, it's like, wherever he at, I'm going. If it inconvenienced me, I'm going. But you know what's crazy? That showed him also when it came to you. you he recognized your next level readiness and the next level trust that he had for you. Exactly. In, in, in the midst of you not even realizing, exactly. quote unquote, that exactly. this is your next level right here. Exactly. Didn't even, and it's yeah. like, he ain't even blinking. I wouldn't even think about it. Yeah. 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 But to now, to, to, to you know, years later. Right. Exactly. Two years later, because it's it's, it's 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 when you can call one of your ministers last minute and boom, 
But I once again I equate that with what you're saying. That's why I want to share that because it's not to boast on myself. It's just to, to because it wasn't something because I, and, and if I was you know to really be transparent, I got frustrated because why am I on why am I the only one he can call like that? Mm-hmm. Because I'm always a person to push everybody, but sometimes when you get pushed back because nobody they're not ready to release whatever they're dealing with. Other people that you're around are not willing to release what they're dealing with. <laughs> and so it's like I was angry because why am I the only one that he's out of all of us? Why am I the only one that he's able to call? That's that's not cool. You know, so in my mind, it's always like God is trying to develop me, but I'm trying to help develop everybody else. So but it's like, no, son, mm-hmm. it's like, no, this is this is you because it's just so much development happened and he told him he told the staff and he told he told them one one time he said the reason mike is where he's at right now is because mike made himself available when nobody else would Mm -hmm. so when you when you i understand the culture and i understand you have to set that balance between work and life you know but you you can't let your 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 organization and your company burn you out to where you lose your mind but i understand you got to make a living at the same time but it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's like what I get out of everything I just shared with y'all is you have to make yourself available for the next level mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it's coming whether you, whether you see it or not. So what, what does your next level look like? Does it look like the last level or does it look like something new that you've been expecting all your life? Yep, because yep. Cause it's coming either way. It's just yep. what is it going to look like? Yep, exactly. because if you, want, if you want next level love, you have to make yourself available for next level love that mm-hmm. mean and to give next level love that mean you gotta take stripes that mean you gotta be able to understand that mm-hmm. mean you gotta learn new stuff you gotta do stuff yeah. to go if you want Bro. next level money you gotta yeah if you want next level education you gotta you gotta read more you can't if you wasn't reading like that the last four years but you wanna learn more then guess what you gotta read more you gotta yeah, do exactly. stuff more you gotta yeah. you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. if you want if you want next level fitness you gotta do I'm just saying, bro. Right. It, right. Hey, it's next level diet. Head that on the head. Next bro, level exercise. Bro, I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I used to be three hundred and something, bro. I'm gonna just say that right here. Between the ages of nineteen and eighteen and twenty-two, twenty-three, I can wear. I can fit a size fifty-two waist. Mm. I was a walking atom bomb waiting to happen. Mm. And then I had a nerve to sag my pants, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was, bro, you know I'm like five, five. <laughs> so when I'm sagging my pants, bro, you just see jeans and shoes. You don't see no legs. Anyway, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I had to start switching mm. stuff up. Mm. It, it, bro, when you trying to get something different, Mm-hmm. And you're trying to go towards something different you never had before. When you start doing the things that you need to do, it's gonna feel funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because you're not used to doing it. It's gonna mm-hmm. feel funny. Mm-hmm. Like if, if you're used to putting two scoops of rice on your plate, four pieces of chicken, uh, cornbread and greens, bust that down, and then go get one more scoop of rice and greens, and with the meat that came out of the greens on there, and bust that down. <laughs> <laughs> when you start putting one scoop of this, one scoop of that, one scoop of that, and then drinking water before seven o'clock, is you gonna feel your your stomach feel, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. bro? Do you know when you just chomp your food, it's like chunks of food. Your stomach is like a weight. Mm-hmm. So if you grind your food up, it spreads evenly, and now and that shoots the signal to okay, you're full. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. if you're just chunking your food down. You're like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're trying to when, register. When you start chewing your food up, you're like, hold on, mm-hmm. I'm full? It feels different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, then, and you get hungrier earlier. You get hungry. You know what I'm so, saying? Yeah. When you start, yeah. when your partner going through yeah. whatever, y'all have a little argument, you got to sit there, what's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. That's different when you just used to be like, bump that. Right. Bro, I'm, mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. I'm no, out. If you, <laughs> right. if you want a real <laughs> relationship, right. you got to do real right. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want real money? Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. And, and you know what game you're playing. Mm-hmm. I was talking to my niece the other day, cause she, cause she finna be a nurse. You know the healthcare field. It's about that paper. It's about mm-hmm. your degrees. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's about your degrees, mm-hmm. your personality, and who you know. That's what it's about. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
Because some of these people ain't got no skills. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. Now you're right. Some of them ain't no, got no skills, bro. Right. They, they, some of these nurses, they, they, they lacking the skills, but they can't. But they come in fresh out with their bachelor degree, so they get in the job. Mm-hmm. Yep. Some of these nurses, bro, it might take them two or three years to get mm-hmm. real nursing skills. Mm-hmm. For one, some of them don't even have compassion for people. That's the number one skill you need. Right. That's, compassion. That's if true. you got compassion, you can softly do something. Mm-hmm. But if you just there for the check, you're gonna be like, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Once sure you know is. what game you plan, then you know how you need to move. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. It's chess, not checkers. It's chess, not checkers. So yeah. if you want something sure. different with a person, bro, you got to learn skills. Mm-hmm. You got pass, she got pass. Mm-hmm. It, it's going to be there. Mm-hmm. If you football players, you, you know what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You got to know what game you playing, dog. So if you... Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's some good bro. stuff. What you got to do? That, um, it's, it's crazy. You find it, you just all in my week, just in the sense of, um, I did, what happened? I say that what you was explaining, I say you've been all in my week. No, oh, week on that. Um, because next level care and next level of thinking requires you to do next level serving. Mm-hmm. So, and that used to be my mindset. Like, dog, oh, man, why the keep, why the keep, why the keep, mm-hmm. man? I was like, okay, Lord help me with my attitude. Lord help me with, let me not just question. Let me just be submissive to authority. Mm-hmm. Let me, let me just digress. <laughs> let me decrease so you can increase. <laughs> I need you to increase a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Right. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and that's not light. <laughs> I need that that heavy duty. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, no but right. um. But I, I just say that to say this. This is where I'm at right now in my job. Being spread thin and helping everybody else. But not really getting that same help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just like, because it, it'll cause you to get tired. Mm-hmm. It'll cause you to get bitter. It, it'll cause you to. So this is how I know it's God. Even with the midst of being called on so much, I'm still able to serve him. Still able to get this, get that. And so it's just like. Okay. Help me to stay in this place. Mm-hmm. Help me yeah. to stay in this space, because it's, it's not just about getting there. It's it's more so about maintaining once you get once there. Once you get yeah, there, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Because that's gonna that's the like, hard part. That's the hard part because everybody's stuck on zeal. Mm-hmm. And the quick like, I, okay, I did that. What's next, God? <laughs> you funny. God just looking at you like, boy, you just have no idea. <laughs> if this is a this is a tortoise race, this is a turtle race. You know what I'm saying? It's not no. It's, it's a marathon. It's not no mm-hmm. no fast. Then you be winded. Mm-hmm. I need a second win, Lord. Like no, it's mm-hmm. it's, it's a marathon. Mm-hmm. It's a turtle race. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my my thing, bro. I ain't really got too much to leave with them, but just like. Just pace yourself. Mm-hmm. Just sit with yourself. See what needs to be accommodated for mm-hmm. your next level access. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to always have to sit with yourself. Mm. Because self-awareness is one of the biggest keys that you have to unlock to one of the doors that you're trying to walk through. Mm. So what else is it is you're trying to walk through that you don't have the key for? What do you got to do to get the access to that key? Uh. <laughs> oh, Lord, what you got? I ain't got nothing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just write my notes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a good one. Yeah. I ain't going to count, dog. Like, yeah. This is a good one on, only for the simple fact because, bro, it's just like, we're at that place. We're at that place. Well, I, I, all of us at this table, we're, we're actually we're, at that place at the door of next level readiness. That's right. where we are. Well, you know what? If I could say anything, I'm reading a book of Luke. I'm still, I'm still in the book of Luke. Yeah, boy. Right? That's yeah. good. So, because I, I just, since I take me, I, bro, sometimes I read half a chapter a day, bro. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and then whatever else I, I read for like self worth or whatever to make, mm-hmm. Sure, mm-hmm. make sure I'm tough. Mm-hmm. So, don't come from ahead. I forgot what chapter it was. I think it's chapter 8. Mm-hmm. So Jesus told 
They got in the boat. They pushed out into the lake, or the sea, as, as he would call it. They go on to the other side. But it, I guess somewhere in the middle, it mm-hmm. got crazy. Winds was flowing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. When, when Jesus got in the boat, my man took a straight nap. He in the back chilling. You feel me? So Facts. Big J, he fell asleep. Everybody else, they tripping. So the wind stopped. From, I think it was Peter. Hey, mm-hmm. hey. He said, Master, do you... um?" Do you not care about something about do you not care about life or what they mm-hmm. he was scared basically, mm-hmm. right? So the water is raging, the winds is raging, you know the sky is black, it's not scun it's not sunny, everything looking gloomy, it's looking crazy, hurricane season, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what the one thing that, that caught my attention mm-hmm. is what Jesus did. Now this is how I be looking at stuff, bro. I don't know how I don't know how everybody else do. But Jesus, the first thing he did was woke up. He was sleep. He was sleeping the storm. Mm-hmm. He woke up. First thing he did was woke up, bro. Before he said anything, he stood up in 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 the middle. Of whatever is going on, whatever hurricane, the headache, turmoil, past situation, wake up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. This is a problem. Because it keep happening. I keep getting the same. This is a problem. If mm-hmm. you don't if you don't see it's a problem, if you just sleep on it still, it's, it's going to keep happening still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next thing he did was stood up. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. stand up to it. Mm-hmm. But wh- if she talking to you like you crazy, wake up. Okay, you can't talk to me like that. You know what? No. You just stood up mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. It said, scripture said he rebuked the wind and the waters. So you can't put it into one thing. Mm. Break it down, bro. So you can't put it into one thing. That's you good. can't call out one thing and then don't call this one out. Mm. Mm-hmm. You, you got to call everything call out. out. Yeah. All of it. It's mm. good. Mm. You got to call everything out. Mm-hmm. It might be touchy. It might be hard. Call it out. Mm-hmm. They might not. They might look at you funny. Call it out. Mm-hmm. You might rock some waters, call it out. Mm-hmm. Because that situation is causing you turmoil, not them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's good. Exactly. That's good. So you got to call it out. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, it said that um, everything stopped. The, the water stopped, everything stopped. And it, was, and it didn't say this, but I know it was peace afterwards. Mm-hmm. I know it was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's where, if I can leave them with anything, bro, that's... That's why That's I was leaving with, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was good. That's yeah. the icing on the cake, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah, man, listen, man, we, we got to get up out of here, man. We done dropped so many gems or not. Man, man, we, we always thoroughly enjoyed it, but we really thoroughly enjoyed it. It was nice. So, man, y'all, y'all take everything that was, um, that was, was divvied out, man, and, and, you know, take the meat, spit out the bones, as they say, man, and, and apply whatever applies to you. And get ready for your next level readiness, man. And so as we get ready to get up out of here, um, check this out. Readiness is this right here. It's the, it's the state of being fully prepared for something. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Readiness is the state of being fully prepared for something. So everything that these guys have said, everything that I have said, is getting you in a position to get you really pre- fully prepared for your next level. So you can't go into your next level not fully prepared because you're going to mishandle the blessings that come with the next level. And that's why you can't go into your next level until you are fully prepared. This has been Next Level Readiness on tonight. So, hey man, y'all take that. Remember this, what we always say, shoot for the top because the bottom is way too crowded. And if you think different and be different, you have the opportunity to live different. And once again, we'll see you on the other side of success. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.